Welcome to Happy Learning Class. Last class, we looked at meaning of kitchen hygiene and importance of kitchen hygiene. Today, we are looking at the ways of maintaining kitchen hygiene. So sit back and enjoy the class. How can we maintain hygiene in the kitchen? Has the place where food is prepared and stored? A kitchen serves as one of the most important functions in the home. That means you should maintain high levels of cleanliness in the space and give it a deep clean once or twice a month. For most people, cleaning the kitchen means keeping utensils clean, but there is more to it than just utensils. It means maintaining proper hygiene and handling food as well. Let's look at the key steps to maintaining hygiene in the kitchen. The first one is clean. Clean means keep yourself and your work area clean. The second one is separate, which means keep raw meat and other raw material products away from other foods. The third one is cook. Cook means always properly cook and prepare food. And the final one, shield. Chilled means tofus appropriate both before and after cooking. These are the keys to maintaining kitchen hygiene. What is the importance of maintaining kitchen hygiene? Kitchen hygiene plays an essential role in keeping away your food from a lot of pests, such as rats, cockroach. Kitchen cleanliness also helps in protecting your edible item from other germs that can spoil your food, making you feel sick or making you to be ill. So you can see that it's important to maintain kitchen hygiene in order to prevent what also pests and also, and also to keep uh, germs away from our food. Ways of maintaining kitchen hygiene. The kitchen is that part of the house where meals are prepared, cooked and served. So kitchen hygiene involves the following. Now, the following ways, uh, the ways of, of maintaining kitchen hygiene. We have cleanliness of the cook, cleanliness of the cooking utensils and equipment, cleanliness of the kitchen and the surrounding, proper handling of food, and finally, proper refuse disposal. I take it again. Cleanliness of the cook, cleanliness of the cooking utensils and equipment, cleanliness of the kitchen and its surrounding, proper handling of food, and proper refuse disposal. We start with the cleanliness of the cook. The cook is the most important factor in the kitchen hygiene. She makes every other things work. She sets the standards of hygiene and ensures that those standards are kept. So what should a cook do? One, the cook must be clean at all times. Two, wash her hands regularly. Three, she must keep her fingernails well trimmed and clean. Four, cover her hair before she begins to cook. Always wear clean clothes and apron. And finally, she should avoid coughing, body scratching or sneezing in the kitchen. All these are what the cook should obtain. That is what we mean by the cleanliness of the cook. The next one is the cleanliness of cooking utensils and kitchen surroundings. Now, what are this we are talking about? The first thing is that your kitchen or the kitchen floor and all other surface should be cleaned before and after use to prevent flies and rats. Secondly, 
Cover and dispose of kitchen refuse immediately. Thirdly, wash plates and utensils as soon as possible. Fourthly, kitchen napkins or clothes should be washed clean immediately after use. Fifth, covering the windows and the doors of the kitchen with nets to keep flies out. Six, remove cobwebs, wash the windows, the floors, the cupboard, and the slow and the stove every week. And finally, covering leftover food and storing them away properly. So all these are what entails in what cleanliness of cooking utensil and the kitchen surroundings. Proper handies of food. Do you know that handling of food can take place during cooking, preparation, purchases, servings, and storage? We're going to look at general safe way that food can be handled. So I'm going to give you tips. Now, the first one is wash your hands before and after handling food. Use paper towels to clean up. Proper handling of food. Do you know that handling of food can take place during cooking, preparation, serving, and storage? We're going to look at some tips in how to handle food. The first one is wash your hand before and after you handle food. That is number one. You wash your hand before and after you handle food. Number two, use paper towels to clean up during our food preparation and serving. Number three, have food ready, not any longer than necessary before serving time. Number four, wash any utensils that fell off to the floor. Number five, store tablewares away from dust. And finally, be careful when lifting cover from the old food. All these are the ways you can handle um, food properly. Refuse disposals at home. So we want to look at the last um, one of the ways of maintaining kitchen hygiene. You know, we've talked about cleanliness of the cook. We talked about cleanliness of cooking utensils and surrounding. We talked about proper handling of food. Now, this is the last one, which is proper refuse disposal. So what should you do? Now, the first thing you should do is that uh, you should know that household refuse can be managed in different ways. So I'm going to tell you the ways that it can be managed. The first one is a good refuse bin must be strong and durable. That is the first one. The good refuse bin that you want to use must be strong and durable. Number two, it should have well-fitting cover. Number three, refuse bin at home must be empty regularly. Number four, they should be cleaned with soaping water to which disinfect has been added. And finally, refuse bin should be left to dry in the sun before further use. Wow, that is the end of the class. In summary, Keeping your kitchen clean is not just a hygienic issue, but it is also a safety issue. Why there is a lot that can give um, goals into keeping a kitchen clean, you don't have to do everything at the same time. Some choice like cleaning dishes and surface has to be done daily, but there are others that can be done on a weekly or monthly basis basis to ensure that you maintain cleanliness in your kitchen you can slip this course and you can slip up these chores and undo them bit by bit every day remember a clean kitchen means a holding kitchen stay clean so stay holding bye